guys, welcome back to my channel. Myself, Dr. Hilary. I'm currently pursuing my master's in prosthetic dentistry, Crown and Bridge, and also a part-time YouTuber. So this is the most, most, most common question asked to me that what is the right time to start preparing for NEET MDS? Every other day, I receive at least two to three DMs of students like you like i'm in second year how can i start my neat mds preparation from right now i'm in first year how can i start my neat mds preparation from now onwards okay so first of all guys i salute your enthusiasm and your dedication that you know you guys are ready to take up this challenge right from the starting of your career but in this video i have few tips for you guys okay and also a strategy which you can follow to get a good seat in neat mds and also how you can direct your efforts and studies towards achieving good rank in neat mds so stay tuned and don't forget to share it with your friends so the first thing which I want to tell you is guys neat mds is nothing different it is not magical it is not very tough okay you can crack it and you can get a good rank but the secret ingredient which is required to crack neat mds is a good knowledge and understanding of your subjects okay so if you know what happens is in our bds days at least i and my friends used to do like we used to just read the important questions okay just for the theory sake but in the NEET MDS, it is not like that. There is MCQ, okay? It is objective kind of examination and it is meant to test your concepts, okay? So, my first tip to you guys is focus on your present subjects very well, okay? Whether you are in first BDS, okay, and your subjects are like DADH and anatomy, biochemistry, physiology, try to understand that subject. Try to develop your understanding of that subject, okay? understand that how the you know maxillary first molar forms okay what are the different forms of it how is its anatomy why it is like that okay so ask yourself like be curious towards your subject and try to develop a good understanding of your current subjects this will really help you in your neat mds preparation times the second thing is that you will ask that how we will know that what is important from neat mds point of view we know that what is important from theory aspect okay you all have your university question paper cassette which you must be doing before your exams but what is important from neat mds point of view so for that we have created our spot revision notes of each and every subject okay so like it is a very student friendly and at very cheap rates we have just created to help you guys okay so by reading it you will get to know that okay fine if i am uh, reading dadh yeah this is important this these topics are very much relevant and important from neat mds point of view okay so you can develop or put your efforts more on those subjects or those topics apart from this no have this habit of making notes it will really help you like if you will say or if you must be thinking that okay i'm in first year how how am i gonna remember this thing after four years when i'll be appearing for the need but if you have something written no it does two things first thing is it stays longer in your memory once you write it no that those information consolidates in your mind rather than just reading it i think it is true for most of the persons but though it, it it depends person to person but my personal advice is that you should make notes of at least all the important uh, topics from uh, your current subjects okay so that it it acts as a uh, guide or very helpful tool when you are preparing for your need mds during your internship days my third tip is that when you are in your third year, your final year, your internship, when you are actually engaging with the patients, okay, when you are actually when you are actually starting to treat patients, 
Involve yourself 100%. Okay, do not get afraid of any procedures. Okay, try to interact with your post graduates of so and so department with your staff. So, like this way, no, you will understand the clinical aspect of all these procedures very well at the early stage itself. At least observe that what they are doing, why they are doing it in this and this case. Okay, so like that way curiosity i think is a very important thing right from the first year till your internship now the fourth tip is actually it's not a tip it's an most frequently asked question to me and it's the answer of that question that whether i should join any academy from from my third bds or from my final bds mm -hmm. or from my first bds i would say that no guys there is no need for it if if you have understood what i have shared so far there is no need for any academy okay you can do it in your when your internship starts okay so that you get that proper orientation of the exam okay and there is something called as mock test okay so it is a uh, replication of your need exam okay so there are 240 mcqs and computer based and you are answering it by sitting at your home so uh, i think that is what is required from academy part and that you can do it in your internship or essay no need to you know join any academy in the first second third final bds this is what my personal suggestion is to you all now the fifth or another most commonly asked question to me is whether we should start solving dental pulse or whether we should start solving dental pulse or Neeraj Vadwan from our first, second or final BDS. I would say that no guys it's not required. I think you have your textbooks okay. Textbook padne ka time baad mein nahi milne wala hai. Okay, so try to give as much time as you can to read those books, to understand those books. Okay, if you have not understood that, you know, uh, the principle of exodontia, okay, go and watch some videos, ask your teachers, ask your seniors, and understand it. Okay, develop the understanding of the topic rather than, you know, uh, anxiously trying to solve the MCQs or you know putting your efforts in the wrong direction that is not required I hope that I have made my point very much clear here and uh, I love interacting with you all so if you are if you have not followed me on Instagram yet then please do it now and send me a DM regarding this video also let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you still have any doubts or queries you can obviously share it in the comments below thanks for watching guys see you in the next video